Hello and welcome back to Crusader Kings 3. In this video, I think that Jarl Haystein has a Mercian problem. What do I mean by this? Well, when you go into the game, just ask yourself, where do you see Jarl Haystein go? What does he do in your game? For reference, this is game version Rogue 1.8.1 with all DLCs. Let's take a look. So, I shall be starting in 867 as Gwent and just letting the game play just to show you that this is just very odd. So, Count Haystein starts as a Norse adventurer kicking around in France, meaning he basically has two key things he can do, Duchy Wars and Varangian Conquests. Now, judging by the title of the video, where do we think he's going to go? Let's find out. Hmm, that was what? almost instantly going to war for the Duchy of Lancaster in Mercia. How very, very peculiar. Let's try that again, shall we? Starting as Count Eudes of Bourbon. Let's see. Oh, what was that? That was the 27th of January, conquest for the Duchy of Lancaster. How fascinating. I would like to point out that, as it stands, I'm not playing with any unique... Um, kind of rules this is literally just the base default rules if i reset nothing's changing here um and yeah it's the same thing keeps happening let's go to leon and yep yeah, the 27th of january going after the duchy of lancaster this seems like it's a bug i have no idea why this keeps happening i've talked to some other people they seem to see that it's happening too so i don't think it's just my game and um yeah. So there are two key things I think we can take away from this video, which is A, Paradox probably needs to uh, take a quick look at this. Maybe I should go file a report if there isn't one there already. And secondly, this is potentially exploitable because now you know that Mercia is going to be extra weak at the start of the game, meaning if you're playing as Wessex or somebody else, getting a duchy claim for Mercia is actually going to be really powerful because having just fought a war between all three of these great Vikings with all of their special troops is going to make them pretty easy for you to take down. TLDR, as long as you're not playing as Mercia, I think playing in the British Isles is pretty easy right now. Um, just, you know, kind of avoid making the Vikings mad. So I've been doing some expanded testing and have found that, as I said, this isn't 100% consistent. Occasionally, he will go off to do some raiding if he doesn't feel like doing a duchy war. However, it's only been a few years later, and yep, he's back to doing a conquest for the Duchy of Lancaster. Who saw that one coming? It's also worth noting that these are duchy wars, and not Varangian conquests, which means he's going to stay as the County of Montague. He's not losing this territory either. So I wonder if there's some weird interaction between Haystein and the way he uses Varangians, and he's not using them, and thus explicitly using duchy wars. It's very odd. Okay, so as an absolute final test, I think what I'm going to do is try and stick Varangian conquests much higher with the adventurers, stick it to apocalyptic, and maybe we're going to see the, um, Maybe we're going to see Haystein go a little bit more crazy and actually go with Varangian instead of using the duchies all the time. Let's roll the dice. Okay, um, it actually did change. Like, instantly, I stuck it on Apocalyptic, and now he's going for the High Chiefdom of Moray. So, that does shift things up a little bit. See, now we have to do it again, don't we? So, we've set ourselves to Apocalyptic again, let's see where he goes. And this time he's after Brittany, okay. So, if you do want a slight deviation in behaviour, it seems that if you increase Scandinavian adventures, I'm noticing that Haystein is choosing not to go to war with Mercia as often. Of course, you'd still have to deal with more Vikings, and in all likelihood, Upland and Stjeland and Jyland are going to explode from Varangians. So bear that in mind. Brittany again. Alba again. As a final note on this, I will say that even though I have increased the Scandinavian adventures going up, these are still not Varangians. They're just duchy wars. He's just going to war for a random duchy. If you set it to lower frequency, it's almost consistently Mercia. 
If you set it to higher, it seems to vary more, but he's still not using Varangians. I just think he's very broken. And with that, I think I'm going to end the video here. Um, thank you for watching. Maybe this gets to Paradox, maybe it doesn't. But uh, regardless of what happens, Heistrein is a very weird guy. Bye.